Hi, Amy. My name's Sarah. First off, I'd like to say thank you guys for being such a big musical inspiration. And I've noticed that your sound and your lyrics have grown so much, but yet you're still keeping the unique of sound. Where do you see it going in the future? Ooh, that's a really tough one. Don't give me any leeway to start off with an easy one or anything. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a hard, it's a hard, the punchline's a hard answer. I'm not really sure where we're headed. I always want to keep a totally open mind so that, you know, wherever your heart goes, the music can go. I think that's the important thing. Um, but yeah, I feel like we've grown a ton. Um, since the beginning, for sure, it's been over 10 years for me. So, um, <laughs> thanks. I always want to be open to grow and to evolve and, and to change completely. Thank Thanks. Hi. Hi. Can she talk Everyone. Now? Hi. Okay. Hi. My name's Melissa, Hi, and Melissa. my question is for everyone. Okay. I want to know what is your most prized possession and what is the story behind it? What's your most prized possession and what's the story behind it? Troy, why don't you go first? Thank you very much. I'm very nervous. Um, Not as nervous as I am. My most prized possession, I guess, is my kid. I got a two-year-old and he's a world to me. My most prized possession is the band and my friends and you all. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's see. Well, thank you very much. My most prized possession is my daughter. And uh, the story behind that basically is when two people get together. Uh, <laughs> there you go. I don't think I thank need you the guys. person. Actually, you, all you guys are. So. I feel like such a loser. Um, my most prized possession. I know I should say my husband. I want to say my husband. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. <laughs> I know that's it. I don't want to be cheesy. I just got married six months ago, so I'm still kind of on cloud nine about it. Ha <laughs> ha, you have to go. Playing music. Aww. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Hi, my name's Dylan, and my question is, do you guys have any musical influences that would shock us as fans? Probably. <laughs> Tim just said right said Fred. I don't know if that's his or he thinks that's mine. Sure. No, it's not. Um, I'm surprised. I love Marvin Gaye. Big time influenced by Michael Jackson. Um, the man's a genius. He's made so many great songs and done so many things that were crazy and daring and everyone's imitated it ever since. Um, let's see what else. What's, what's shocking? What were we listening to on the bus? This stuff was... <laughs> yeah, I don't, know if the, I don't know what's shocking. I like so many things from so many different genres. I don't listen to music uh, that sounds just like us all the time. I don't know if anything really sounds just like us, but I don't know. I love Portishead, and I guess that's predictable. And I, I love Smashing Pumpkins, and I guess that's predictable. But um, yeah, not to say that I you know, didn't get my fill of the chronic, too. I mean, I did. <laughs> Hi, Amy. Hey. My name is Amy. If you did not pursue your love of music and your incredible talent, best talent ever, um, what would you, what other pursue of passions or interests you have that you would like to follow instead? Well, if it just wasn't Evanescence, I guess. Um, I love kids. I'd probably be a music teacher or like choir professor or something. I, you know. If it wasn't music at all, yes. okay. I'd be a chef. Can you cook? I would. I love cooking. I've learned I love cooking almost as much as I love making music. It's so fun for me. Wow. I'm totally trying to talk to the cool people at the Food Network and get my own show. How about one more song? Thank you guys so much. You're awesome. This has been really fun. Thank you. You rule.